competition superstars. Today we're going to answer the question, how do you do a transition at the marker? So the first thing you need to know is if you need to do a transition at eight, when should you do the transition? So some people say, do the transition now because her nose is at H. Some people say, do the transition now when the rider's body is at H. And some people have all plannings to do it at H, but they tend to do it about here when the horse is past H. The ideal to get a 10 for a transition, the movement has to be done as the rider is passing the marker. So, easy, just do that. Now, obviously there is huge amounts of preparation and timing to be able to go, okay, coming up to the marker, coming up to the marker, coming up to the marker, change. In um, the present George, you need to, you come around after you pirouette, you do counter canter and you do a flying change at sea. I count the strides. Because a flying change and a canter stride is so big, and um, depending on how you've ridden, you can ride collected canter and fit nine strides in there, or you can ride a bit of a medium canter and fit five strides in there. But if you get your striding wrong, it's the same as coming into a jump. You will either do your, have to do your transition, your flying change, either before the marker or after the mar marker, because of the, the, the length of the horse. So it's really important that you practice. I know that P word. What do you mean I have to practice? You do, you have to practice. Firstly, how long it takes you to do a transition. So I used to, on some of my young horses, um, if you, I had to trot at M, let's say, or at H, if I'm coming down the, the long side cantering and I have to trot at H, I'd start asking at about S because my horse was so young and so not on my aids and so not with me, none of those things that should be in a dressage test, I'd be like, and trot, 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 prrr, trot, trot, trot. And I'd do a beautiful transition at H. No one would know I've been asking for the last 20 meters. So you've really got to know your horse, you've really got to know how long it takes to, um, on Arbor the Frisian, I would be asking for my passage transition five strides before my passage because I'd be like, ask, he'd be like, no, ask, come on. And now this is not, I shouldn't even be saying this because apparently dressage riders, aren't we meant to have dressage horses that are effortlessly doing every command We're at, from a, a millisecond's ask? Yes, but we are also real humans riding horses that have not been trained to be that perfect yet and we need to make do when we can make do. So my advice to you is if you want to get better marks for your transitions and be able to do your transitions at your markers, you start doing a lot of practice answering yourself these questions. One, how long does it take me to get a reaction? So when I ask for trot, if it canter trot, does it take three strides? When I ask walk trot, does it take two strides? When I ask trot canter, does it take five strides? Doesn't matter at this point, remember, huge, worlds apart different of being a training rider and being a competition rider. Don't ever get those two riders confused. When you're a competition rider, you don't care how long it takes, you just gotta make it look good. When you're a training rider, you obviously want it instant. So that's the first question you need to ask. Second, um, you need to get really, really good cognitive awareness of when your body is passing H. A lot of riders say to me, my body, I'm at H now. And I'm like, just stop. You're not at H. <laughs> so you really need to know that you know where your markers are and that you can prepare for that. If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you want to leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helped. I'm super, super, super excited to also let you know that we have a competition training. If you'd like to know how to get better in competition, how to overcome competition nerves, how to master a warm up, how to um, remember your test and learn and remember your test so you don't need a caller and you don't forget it. I've got that all in my free competition training available for you. So click on the link and grab that training and I will see you guys very soon.